Welcome back. As the sun begins to rise over Australia, it's time for us to wrap up the week's news from Tasmania. Coming to us live from Launceston, this is the Tasmanian Report. And in today's bulletin, is the Tasmanian government addicted to gambling taxes? And the Mersey Hospital handed back. How does it affect the state? Good morning, JD here, bringing you an exciting and stimulating story from the Launceston Church Grammar School. Over the past week, they've been hosting a vibrant innovation program called the Australian Business Week. So for now, let's just check out what's been going on. Last week, students began the Jackson Ford Motor Company Australian Business Week, launched by Stephen Norris. The students were introduced to the challenge that will consume them for the next week. Each team has taken over a 200-bed hotel in the north of Tasmania. The teams must successfully manage this hotel with the opportunity of expanding the chain. Teams must also develop a landmark attraction in the north of Tasmania that will bring people to the region. The main criteria of this challenge is that it will boost bed nights in the team's hotels and thus extend their profitability. But unlike any other year, this year's Australian Business Week will be remembered as the most competitive yet, with the teams fiercely competing to gain supremacy under the watchful eyes of some of the toughest judges ever assembled, who are collectively known as the panel. This program had all the hallmarks of being something special. Australian Business Week is a very special week here at Monsterson Church Grammar School. It's become a landmark event in our school's program and I always eagerly await the outcomes of the week and I'm constantly surprised and very proud of the, the things that our students come up with. Very early into the week, the students were invigorated with some of the most talented entrepreneurs of the Tasmanian tourism industry. These professionals, all experts in their chosen field, presented seminars to groups of willing students to pass on their advice, knowledge and experiences to the younger generation. As a person that's been in business since the age of 14, I get really excited when I see younger people think about the opportunities that are available to them. And this program really does make sure that any negative stereotypes are totally put away and these younger people get the opportunity to think about what's available in their future. One of the highlights for the students was the marketing presentation delivered by Chief Financial Officer of the Red Cross Australia, Don O'Connor. We had the opportunity to catch up with Bernd Meyer, the facilitator of the event, during the week to find out how we thought the week was going. The OBW has been great, going great so far. The, the tops of creativity and the, the uh, initiative that the kids have been showing and coming up with the new tourism ideas. In the gaps between business challenges is the corporate games. Here, teams have to undertake a series of tasks, all designed around promoting innovation, self-improvement and teamwork, with all teams needing to reach a certain goal quicker than every other group. The first of these challenges is the Queen of Sheba, where teams have to quickly understand each other and create a strong base of teamwork. While there are a number of teams who easily grasped the concept, there were still a few that didn't seem to get the idea of doing everything together. The major challenge that falls later in the week is the Corporate Olympics, where teams are given a limited amount of time to complete a number of tasks to the best of their ability. These challenges were all engaging, tough and at times physically demanding, and competitors had to use teamwork, problem-solving skills and develop innovative thinking processes in order to get through the challenges. Well, the corporate games, they just add a whole other aspect to Business Week, another challenge that the kids and the teams have to undertake, and it's one of the fun bits of the week. The kids really look forward to the corporate games. It's a great way to break the ice, and after that we find that the teams just work better as a group because they've got new communication skills. And The final corporate challenge was the annual volleyball competition. Since its conception, it has become woven into the fabric of the Australian Business Week program as a fun way to let off steam during the stressful time of the week and to keep developing team-based skills, all while beating the team on the other side of the net. ABW was pretty good this week. I uh, ended up as CEO, which is a bit of a challenge. It's good to get out there and do something different. Um, got to know heaps of people a bit better and business stuff more. Yeah, it was a good experience. And During Business Week, you had to learn, like, to deal with different kind of people, that's not just your mates, so uh, it's good fun just to bond with more people. Yeah. Now, would you back yourselves to win? Yeah, I think we've got a good chance. Yeah, I'm sure everyone's going to say that, but it's, I don't think it's really about winning, it's more about what you put in and like, the effort you go to. So, Tell me, how has your group gelled together? Oh, we're gelling really well at the moment. We've got a nice mix of um, different minds, different strengths. And so we've sort of combated all the weaknesses, so at the moment, just one big strength. And at the moment, just everything's coming together for our group. It's just amazing how a group of people who aren't really in the same friendship group have just come together, and we're doing this project together, and it's all working out really well. A very successful week was wrapped up with the awards ceremony and dinner, where both companies and individuals were handed awards for varying success and achievement throughout the week. The sponsors... 
speakers and mentors were all thanked heartily for their efforts in making this one of the best ABWs ever hosted at the school. I'll hand over to Bern Meyer, who will have the final word on his week. It's the, out- it's the outcomes for the students that pleases me the most as a teacher, the, the, um, the teamwork, the problem solving, the communication, all done in a relevant and uh, realistic setting where the kids rise to the challenge to come up with something that's really good. After the break, we'll head down to Hobart to investigate whether the Tasmanian government is addicted to the gambling taxes and if this is the real reason that they aren't taking steps to reduce gambling social impacts.